I was a week away from the red ship. Well, they give an AA a red ship usually as a sign of, I think it's 90 days of sobriety, maybe. Uh, I was a week away from the red ship when they outed me from gay AA for phone sex in the detox closet. <laughs> Spilling <laughs> bottles of phony cologne, esprit, bootleg by my bunkmate, a wall-eyed cowboy from Melville, Long Island. Brothers, sisters, I said, cursed from birth with a terrible thirst by the dreaded enabler who had, who bent my elbow at the brazen head bar, nursed bitter milk from barrels at Bailey's. I was born of a triple Virgo by the blind porter at World's End. The black Irish Jewish Catholic alcoholic offspring of that lost tribe of penmen, those heinous Sheenies and Arab seamen, Sean and Shem. Or as they say in Mayo, to make a short story malinger, once I drank to stop the voices, now I drink to bring them back. At which point Shine turned to shower with a sour grin. Darling, tell me, why is Cleo's nose so long? Because, my dear, she's the queen of denial. <laughs> Some pretty bad jokes going on this morning. Luckily, it's there. I'm not responsible, I just wrote it. <laughs> Locked on the mountaintop with all the twelve steppers and those jovial overweight Franciscan friars whose strict diet contemns them to die at fifty of beer and potatoes. I was sore all over as though fallen from a great height with a hollow ache in the blades at my back where the wings once were. Kneeling before the porcelain bowl I saw a ghost face flower haloed by my fiery orange hair, and someone had lipstick across the glass roof of hell. Nobody loves no one. That's when the shadows started talking back to me. Grand rounds. Dr. Glanders illuminates a map of the dark side of the moon, its rills and furrows and lunar seas weighing each word on the on his tongue like a turd on a golden scale he points toward me this lad has the brain of an 80 year old man with all due respect i reply you are not addressing some riverboat queen with a taste for pink magnolias and scarlet cock see the pearl in this left ear I got it rounding the horn in rough trade, foul weather, lashed to the mast, loony as a snowbird, wailing, wailing like Ma Rainey for all those the black ox has taken away. The little gray lady on the subway, the red Indian of the sun. In sum, my dear externs and interns, I may be a refugee from a third world country, recuperating in your fourth world now. But when I recover, I'm off to the fifth. Well, I was high as a winged horse on, auto, on astro grass and singing hosannas when they wheeled me, the sweet gray, dove gray sisters of Belitis, down white tile tunnels to the house of icy waters and electric beds, Auschwitz for angels. Honey, one crooned as they strapped me in, just how many years do you really want? Tap dancing between power poles in my metal skull cap and iron shoes. I heard death rattle in a baby's fist. Then the juice jolted through me and I'm riding the third rail from Zeroville toward Ring's End, the Alpha Express. Blue movie of windows brings me to a cindery river, switching stations, rose brick gardens, sunny side, Queens. Through cloudy curtains, I see my own mammy, toothless, dying in the bed I was born in. Who is that holding her in his arms? Captain McCall, Sergeant Malarkey, my brave night crawlers, wave mechanics, after the last go round, how will it end? Bible, bottle, gun, breathers anonymous, 
a nanosecond of spark, then out in the dark again in my moth hole overcoat under a starless sky. There's a chill in the air, but I know the way, a step at a time. Hedgerow, blackthorn, elm. At the end of the lane, purple shadows, a faint afterglow, thatched roof, plume of smoke, and the white horse standing at the gate, still as a stone. <laughs>